For years, women have been told that they have no place on the basketball court and that they should just get back in the kitchen. We're redefining what that means by talking hoops, the journey, and the issues with the most influential women in the game. We're serving up some food for thought, talking about the sport that we love on the highest of levels, in the kitchen. Kayla Alexander was born in Milton, Ontario. She attended Syracuse University and graduated the school's leader in points, blocks, free throws, and games played. The San Antonio Silver Stars selected her eighth overall in the 2013 WNBA Draft. Kayla is a member of Canada's senior women's national team and has played overseas in Russia, South Korea, Australia, France, and Belgium. And now, she's in the kitchen. Hey Kayla, how's it going? Hey Savannah, I'm doing pretty good. Can't really complain. I'm out here in the kitchen cooking uh, a recipe you sent me, avocado toast. Yes. I'm an avid avocado eater myself. So what makes this so special and why am I eating it? Honestly, I just think it tastes delicious. I love, it's a great hearty breakfast. You get your carbs, your grains. It's just tasty, it's quick, easy to make, and it's bomb. Okay, so you have me out here with this radish um, some, some garlic salt as well. Like, what's the secret sauce to this? Um, okay, so first of all, that's a radish. <laughs> it was the best we could find, okay? <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen that radish. I'm used to like the tiny little, like reddish pink ones that they have in the store, but we'll make that work. We'll adapt. It's not my best. <laughs> I got you, I got you. But I guess the key ingredient was just the seasoning, I guess. So like garlic, just to add a little bit of flavor. Take me back to 2013 WNBA draft night for you, okay? That must have been like quite the feeling just to hear your name being like, hey, Kayla, you just got drafted. This is a very surreal moment that I can say that for sure. Um, it's when I first attended Syracuse going in my freshman year, that wasn't even on my radar. All I was concerned about was earning some playing time so I can actually play during my freshman year, help the team to win and hopefully uh, experience an NCAA tournament. So the summer going into my senior year, my dad calls me all excited and I'm like, what's going on? He's like, Kayla, your name, you're the last name on the WNBA mock draft. And um, throughout the season, my name slowly uh, went up on the mock draft. And that, I think that was the moment where it became real, like Kayla, like this, you can actually potentially continue to play basketball professionally and you can do so in the WNBA. Why is it so hard to stay in the W? To, you literally have to earn your spot and your position every single year. It's a league full of incredibly talented women who have dedicated their lives essentially to developing their skill set, the strength they need so that they can perform on the court. So uh, I think it's quite an honor to be able to just call myself one of 44 for the past seven, eight years. So I'm very thankful for that because I know it's very hard. Now I want to switch gears a little bit and talk about your children's book. Why, what was the inspiration to write it in the first place? So for my children's book, that's my baby. Um, but I'm very proud of the book. I co-wrote it with my sister. In short, I wanted to find a way to combine all of my passions. So I love working with kids. I actually got my degree at Syracuse in education. So I always thought I was gonna be a teacher. Um, also, I love art. I love to draw and illustrate. And then also the power of basketball, the power of sports. I feel like that's something I'm always trying to instill in the next generation of young kids when I speak with them. Too often in children's books, um, I believe the stat is like, I think 10% or less of children's books are children who are characters who are African American. Um, and then even fewer sports children's books have a character that's female and African American. So it was really important for me to kind of change that narrative and to give some representation to young girls who look like me. All right, Kayla, it's here. The final invention, the final product is here. I'm gonna have you look, take a look at it real quick. Okay. You know, I'm pretty proud of myself, but like, let me know what you think. I mean, I'm gonna give you an A for effort, and I think that's most important. Um, <laughs> hey, you tried. Uh, the presentation can use a little work, but it's open to interpretation, and that's the beauty of cooking, right? We all cook and do things differently, so I'll give you an A for effort. If it tastes good, then how it looks doesn't even matter, right? Awesome, thank you so much, Kayla, for joining us here in the kitchen. I hope to have you back on here sometime soon. Thank you for trying out my recipe. Not too bad for your first attempt. I'm sure it'll get it better good. as you keep going. But Thank it was you. Awesome to see you in action.